We all know that collaborating with external partners is a game changer in Microsoft 365, but there are so many businesses that does this completely wrong, leaving security on the back burner. Hi, I'm Angelo from Tektron Business IT Services. We provide effective and efficient solutions for SMBs within South Africa, specializing in the Microsoft stack. This video is all about guest access and how you should set it up to securely manage and share your data within SharePoint. All right, so to get things started off, we'll head over to admin.microsoft.com and sign in with a global administrator account. The next thing we'll do is head over to identity under admin centers, also previously known as Azure AD. Then under identity, we'll select external identities and click overview. Then we'll click on external collaboration settings. Then under external collaboration settings, there's a few things we're going to change. First, we'll change the guest user access restrictions to the second option, which is guest users have limited access to properties and memberships of directory objects. This setting blocks guests from certain directory tasks, such as enumerating users, groups, or other directory resources. Then, under guest invite settings, we'll select member users and users assigned to specific admin roles can invite guest users including guests with member permissions. This setting allows member users and users who have specific administrative roles to invite guests. Once you've selected the options, click save to confirm the changes. Then we'll navigate back to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center and select SharePoint. Next, we'll navigate to Policies and Sharing. The first change we'll make in the SharePoint Admin Center is external sharing. We'll be changing this to Guest must sign in or provide a verification code. Then we'll navigate to more external sharing settings and click the arrow. Here, we'll remove allow guests to share items they don't own and select guest must sign in using the same account to which sharing invitations are sent. And click save. The next thing you'll need to do to give guest user access is navigate back to Microsoft 365, navigate to the home page and select guest users. As you can see, we don't have any guest users at this point in time. So I'm going to go ahead and create a guest user. So I'm going to be using the option to invite a user and I'll send an email to myself. You can optionally add a personal message or even add the user to one of your selected groups. Next, you'll choose the usage location. In my case, I'll be choosing South Africa. Optionally, you can also add a job, department, company name, and management information over here. Once you've completed everything, you can click Invite. And there you have it. If you've enjoyed this video and you've learned something new, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel to stay in tune.